Okay, so I just beat Thanos Teller for the first time ever. And, uh, yeah. Ring 1 is clear. We and Ring 1. Okay. Why not? We and Ring 1 are a very long time. Almost. Actually, it's gonna be three years in October. And, I just gotta say, the nerfs, like the nerfs in this tower, it makes it, it makes this tower way more fun to play. It makes it way better and like, just everything really. Like floor two isn't stupid. It's actually like kind of fun. Floor six actually is kind of fun too. Um, the timer is still there. Uh, I did fail ten. Like, yeah, I did, but I caught myself on nine. Uh, yeah, so that was the first time I ever got to 9 that run, and 10, obviously, because I beat it, but, uh, yeah. My personal rankings with that, if I'm being real with you, that is, like, a... It, it's really easy, so it felt remorseless for me, like, really high on the remorseless chart. But, if we take everything into consideration, all the tower crossings, all the everything, this is definitely a load of mid insane. So, yeah, I, that's just my personal great difficulty. This tower, it's really fun. Cole's, like, Citadel of Laptop Splitting, it might get replaced for the best uh, Ring 1 tower. Like, by, with this, which I never thought I would ever be saying whole life. Honestly, this this is better than Cole's. It's just, yeah. Also, I'm wearing the Thanos head in Thanos Scotland, if you didn't know because of the tower. But, uh, yeah. With that all out of the way, actually, is there anything else I'm missing? I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, cosmetic. I don't know if I got one, actually. Yeah, Thanos. Let's see. Oh my god. This is a really cool cosmetic, to be honest. Oh my god. Uh, I think that's... I don't know what, uh... Soul Crushing Up was for me in Countless Thing. So, I beat, uh... Icy Blizzards... Okay, wait. I beat this, Icy Blizzard's Frightening Nightmares, Strategic Mechanics, Suffering Outside, Toha Toka TOBT, that's 9, uh, TOBK, that's 10, TOTL is 11, TODT is 12, T Tower of Hopeless Hell is 13, Tower of Inevitable Failure is 14, uh, I think that's it, actually. Yeah, that's it. So this was my 14th Soul Crushing, if I did my math right. 14th SC. This should have been, like, my damn sixth. But we're fine. Oh, wait. Uh, this could technically count as my 15th, because I beat Actual Eclipse, and that's a confirmed tower for some eight. So, yeah, I, I'm, this is my 15th SC. So, yeah, literally cry a goddamn game, but I don't give a shit. But, uh, yeah. That's basically all I really have to say about this. This win room is also really cool. The music is really good. The tower is really good. I'm... <gasps> okay, I'm gonna read this. Hey, look, you beat the Thanos tower. Uh, most news and obvious, I've tried this tower, most of the fell, and just cheat and hack. If you manage to come here legit, I award you everything I can give you. I, I award you everything I can give you. Not many end up managing to do this, you know, you have a talent. This might have been hard for you, and just get all some stuff you jokes. And now, you're beating the hardest tower in Ring 1. Probably took you many tries. Feel free to relax before taking on any of the towers. Look behind you, when you are finished, go across the Thanos Bridge and go back to- And touch the green brick to go back to- With all power, 
with all with the power of all five infinity stones collected, the victory is now yours, Thanos Town. Oh. Okay, let's go see this bad boy in the green text because apparently that was fixed. So it's like it used to not show green when you beat it, but apparently it's fixed now. Uh, also, it does say major update on the sign still, but this was not the major update. So, yeah, that took a long time. Let's get one quick screenshot. Let me get my. Let me come down, actually. Let me come here, actually. Dude. Oh my god! I think this is the one. Around here is... I'm gonna get a bunch of screenshots actually for the thumbnail. Just to see which one I like the most. Ooh, this could be a good one. Okay, that should wrap it up. Let's go see. Let's go see. We're out. Also, the stupid chat thing is like not working. So, where is it? Right here. This is the first time I got to 10. I was like, what the hell is this? Because I, I did not know what to do because I sight read this whole tower. Uh, yeah. I sight read this whole tower besides uh the tower of screen punching tower crossing that's the only thing i watched a, 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 a tutorial for this i knew that it had traps but i didn't traps but i didn't know where uh, okay now the chat's working since i left what a stupid game oh, oh my gosh and yeah, here we are. It's green. It's a looks like a low mid thing, or it's a low. I think it's ranked a low. We can just come check here. Yeah, it's a low uh, I personally think it's a low to mid. Actually, I don't know. I actually. It's probably a low to be honest, because like it's a pretty forgiving tower. And yes sir, oh my god, it's Thanos Tower. That just leads me one step closer to completing all the stupid insane towers. Which leads me what I wanna do next. This tower of confusion, this tower of extreme hell, this tower of that. Is that really it? Do I really only have three left? Hold up. How have I not beaten every hard tower? What am I missing? Oh, well, time. Yeah, that's not how. I know I'm missing uh, the Citadel. I'm missing a lot of stuff. There's 311. Oh, they probably added a Tower of Oblivion. Uh, let's check. Okay, I was way wrong. I'm so stupid. I, I, I have Extreme Hell, Mind Breaking, uh, Polychromatic Zero, Confusion, which is really high up, actually. And then, yeah, I'm probably gonna do Mind Breaking. Extreme Hell. Next. Just because it's going to be like a free one. Okay. This took. Oh, 
This took way too long of a video. I'm already stretching this out enough, so. All I gotta say is, like, if you attend this tower, good luck with it. And, yeah, have a nice time. Have a nice day.